The ocean is a dynamic and rapidly changing environment. To understand it, marine scientists need to measure features such as ocean fronts, pollution and plankton blooms. But these change over time and across the vast distances of the ocean. Only by having dedicated resources deployed for extended periods from the surface to the ocean floor, the much sought after persistent presence, can they even hope to gather all this data. Until very recently, this was just a dream. Turning that dream to reality has been the long-term objective of the National Oceanography Centre. Their pioneering approach to innovation has opened up major opportunities for everyone from solo inventors to businesses of all sizes. This is the Sea Enduro, seen here on trials. It's a long endurance unmanned surface vehicle and it's launched a business worth millions for its creators, thanks to a collaboration with the National Oceanography Centre. Its inventors, a company called ASV, started as just two guys in a garage. We've grown really, really fast. So there were two employees five years ago, and now there's about 55. New funding models, such as the Small Business Research Initiative and Innovate UK, have led to a step change in the development and commercialization of new technologies. And this is how it worked. The National Oceanography Centre issued a bid tender, open to all comers, to develop ideas for a new unmanned surface craft. All we wanted to do is, is, if you like, develop a hybrid vehicle where we could have, in this case, the target was 90 days at sea, but also the capability to reposition those uh, platforms up to sort of 100 nautical miles at about 10 knots. Eight shortlisted companies were awarded £50,000 each to develop a prototype. Two winners were chosen. The Autonaut was developed by Most Limited, a local company based in Chichester. The other winner was ASV, who developed this, the Sea Enduro. For both companies, the results of the partnership with the National Oceanography Centre has been dramatic. A large portion of that growth has come from our work with the Sea Enduro, so it now kind of definitely is one, one sort of major part of our business. From small beginnings, both companies now take their rightful place at the prestigious Ocean Business Exhibition, the world-leading ocean technology event. It typifies the many opportunities offered by the National Oceanography Centre, or NOC, to private sector partners to develop new technologies and products. Partnering with industry is absolutely vital to NOC. We are a world-leading oceanographic institute. We like to be a research partner to companies looking for collaborative research projects, but we also like to transfer our knowledge and expertise and technology into these companies as well. The industry body gives a big thumbs up to the way the National Oceanography Centre works with its partners. Anybody in this sector going the NOC model is, is, a, is, a, is a faster route to market and a more safe but fairer um, and it works best for both parties. The policy has proved so successful they've invested three and a half million pounds building this incubator, the Marine Autonomous and Robotic Systems Innovation Centre or MARSIC. The Innovation Centre really hopes to be a catalyst for enabling those partnerships to really grow and flourish. Companies that locate here will benefit from on-site expertise and cutting-edge testing facilities. Brilliant for us, we're going to take some space in that because um, it encourages sort of international visitors to come to this region and obviously then we can have meetings with them. It's kind of a win-win situation. It's a step change for NOC, so I, I believe we're on the threshold of doing some really fundamental things with our science, but also engaging with industry. This is, I think, also reflects widely in the UK, where there is this um, desire to absolutely do world-class science, but actually have some world-class impact and benefit from that science. Lest anyone be in any doubt, the National Oceanography Centre is putting its money firmly where its mouth is.